Okay, so if you are a new nurse going into the hospital, this is a warning. There are some people that you need to stay away from. Number one, the fire department. The fire department is not your personal hinge bill. Do not go in there trying to date the whole fire department. It's not going to work out well for you. Guess what? The fire department goes to a whole lot of hospitals and they got at least a couple of you at every hospital they frequent. Don't do it. Number two, EMS, EMTs, paramedics, whatever you want to call them. They don't have no money. They don't have no money. Don't date them. They're broke. I think Walmart has like a higher pay than some of them. Don't, mm -mm, nothing wrong with Walmart. They don't have no money. Stay away from Number them. three, police officers. Girl, they're married. Don't be in here starting no affair with this married man. He has three kids at home. Leave Steve alone. Number four, the doctors. Do not go in there trying to date those doctors. Don't do it. I'm not even going to explain. We have one trauma doctor with six baby mamas and they were all nurses at our hospital. Don't don't do that this one is kind of the same the residents they're annoying why you want to date them anyway sorry residents but y'all annoying and guess what they're probably leaving they're at your hospital to get their stuff done and once they get out of there they're leaving and they're leaving you too don't number do five it. the other nurses especially if you're new there and they the the guy has already been there don't do it because trust me you are not the first one then you have to work you're going to have to walk through them hallways every day with a man that half the staff didn't already had. Do not do it. Don't do it. If you're at the hospital and you're new, you're going to be this cute new nurse. And I know you're going to stay anywhere at the hospital. Stay away from them. Stay away from them. Stay away from them. That is not the place that you need to find your man. Don't date within a 20 mile radius of that hospital. Trust me. Trust me. Take this advice. <laughs> Black Ram V13 back at you again. You know why? Well, it's because this is therapeutic, man. Back again with another video, hence another therapy session, man. I saw this video on social media and had to talk about it. Um, I myself, a guy who's dealt with nurses a lot in my life, from certified nursing assistants to registered nurses, I've had my fair share of dating experiences with nurses. And for some reason, they are very peculiar when it comes to dating. Now, I'm not saying everyone and all, not saying that, but, but I'm speaking of mainly the ones that come on social media and the ones that I've had experiences with. And not all people are the same, so I'm not saying it at all. But my point is, is that it seems like in the nursing industry, they have a particular type of dating taste. And I want to explore that a little bit. So the subject said, not to date men in certain professions that may be associated in and around nursing. For instance, firefighters, because we know that the fire department will come and bring people into the hospital. Police officers may have to apprehend someone and bring them to the hospital, so they're having contact, as well as emergency medical services, also called EMS, they're private ambulance companies, um, that they'll come in contact with. Other nurses and doctors. But what I find fascinating and peculiar is she said pretty much don't date anybody that you are around and she put everybody in a box. Now, I don't want to put anybody in a box, but why is it video after video that I can pull up and show that for the most part, the nurses that I see on social media, you know what the preference is. Now, we know this is mainly a preference of the subject, but Thuggo is always a preference. They never say, and listen, in fact, how many times have you ever heard the subject say not to date Thuggo? You never hear that. But she'll tell you not to date a fireman, not to date a police officer, not to date a doctor, not to date another nurse. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? So professional blue collar people, professional blue collar people, in other words, are naturally for the subject a red flag. Not Thuggo, that's not a red flag. But first responders like yourself, that's a red flag. A professional like a doctor, that's a red flag too? Oh, it's like, let's just go ahead on and be honest when it comes to the subject. The subject is saying it basically doesn't want to date anybody. You don't want to marry anybody. Unless it's Pookie, unless it's Thuggo in them, you really don't like anybody. So let's explore this for a minute. 
Let's look at police officers and firefighters. First of all, that is a great career to have. Anybody who's a police officer or firefighter, you're getting a nice income and the benefits are phenomenal. The medical benefits, the insurance benefits, phenomenal. Uh, you get uh, annual raises, pay increases, all of those things, right? There's many perks and benefits and you can provide yourself a nice middle-class lifestyle with that income alone. Police officer income in most of these major cities, on that income alone, you can have a fairly decent middle-class lifestyle. Now, I'm not saying you'll be able to afford a big house in the suburbs, no. But in some neighborhoods, you might be able to afford a nice rent or a mortgage if you want to be modest. But couple that income with the nurse's salary. Now we're talking about maybe a nice close to upper middle class lifestyle, which means better education for your children, which means a cleaner, safer neighborhood, a better environment. All of those things that are progressive and necessary to build a family and ultimately a community. But yo, girl, is saying no, 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 don't want to deal with that. Stay away from that. Now, the subject may a statement that I think it was saying police officers have wives. Well, not all police officers are married. And isn't that a good thing that they have wives? Now, I'm not saying that, you know, she should be on the side or anything like that. But what about the police officer who are not married? Think about the coupling of a police officer and a nurse and what they can do together. That's a nice coupling right there. That's a nice income. I mean, that will put, depending on the city you live in and your tenure as a nurse or a police officer, both can make six figures or above. So you, we're talking like 200K right there. You're talking 200K right there. If, a, if someone has been a nurse in a nice hospital, let's say an emergency room nurse for 10 to 15 years, you know, and a guy's been a police officer for 10, 15 years, man, that's a nice amount of bread. That's a nice neighborhood. That's a nice college fund savings for your children. That's a nice lifestyle. Those are nice vacations. But the subject would rather have, instead of somebody making, you know, 80K, 100K, she'd rather have no K. Instead of 50K, no K. What's the no K? So go. That's what you'd rather have, huh? So you'd rather have a situation where you rather struggle because you think that is something to take issue with if a guy is a firefighter, a fireman. It's something to take issue with if a guy is a police officer. And then went on to say your fellow nurses. What's wrong with that? Your fellow, the profession that you're in, the care and loving profession that you're in, because we need our nurses, right? The care and loving profession you're in, you're saying that others in that same profession are undateable. And then the doctors who are professionals and the whole situation in the hospitals, they are all first responders and lifesavers. But even that's not good enough for you. I mean, what you want? A rapper? Thuggo? I mean, what do you want? What do you want? And it's like it is impossible for the subject to be content with anyone, unless now, unless now with Stuggo. And this is what I see. I know of a lot of nurses who go to work every day, uh, high rates of pay, but the guy that they're with is a complete opposite. Someone who didn't finish high school. Someone who's been in and out of the system repeatedly someone who doesn't have employment never had employment and definitely doesn't even have the potential now to be gainfully employed that's what you want and what i would like to see which would probably never happen i would just like to see the subject just for once and i'm talking i'm not talking about your uh sukiyamas i'm talking about the nurses the professionals um, the ladies that are lawyers, um, the, the ones who work for uh, big corporations, um, the high earners, the PhDs, the master's degrees. I would like them for once to just admit one thing. Just admit this one thing. That you really don't desire someone who is blue collar. You really don't desire someone who um, is professional. But your desire truly is and only will ever be to thuggo.
or the non-melanated. But that's mainly what you like. Just go ahead and admit it. That if you see a guy that's a police officer, that's just not what you are attracted to. That a first responder like that, that's just not who you are. Now, you always talk about protection and being protected. You would think in your mind that that would be an A+. Plus. Now, isn't it amazing that the subject wouldn't want a police officer? Because we're always talking about protection, right? But you would rather have thuggo who the police officer has to go and, you know, get. Or the police officer who is skilled at self-protection. No, 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 no. You rather have sideways self-protection device holding thuggo who is being sought after from the guys in his neighborhood to law enforcement. You rather have that. You rather have that. Right? than someone who is a police officer, someone who's a firefighter or a nurse or a doctor, someone who is in an honorable profession that's been around for a long time. Where would the world be without our firefighters, without our police officers, without our nurses, without our doctors? And you are basically saying that as a nurse, the people among us who we need the most who we need the most in any society are, again, your police officers, your firefighters, your doctors, and your nurses. You're saying the people that we need the most, that those individuals are unacceptable for dating, marriage, and relationships. Oh, my goodness, man. Oh, my goodness. Brothers, the subject is finished. And I can't show you the comment section, but if you saw the comment section of videos like this, it's yeah, amen, and you telling the truth, and for real, for real, and for real, for real, and yes, yes, and yes, yes. So it's always been known by us what the subject likes, but they come on social media over and over again to reaffirm their stance that if you are a quality person or individual with integrity, with self-esteem, with strength, with things going for yourself that you are the least desired of them all on the dating scene. Now, the funny thing is, is that you will not catch on social media. I would be very surprised if you would catch um, Caitlin saying the same thing. You won't catch Caitlin saying that. You won't catch Becky saying not to date and marry a police officer, a firefighter, a doctor. Or a nurse. You won't catch Caitlyn saying that. You will not catch Maria saying, hey girl, don't date a nurse, a doctor, a firefighter, or a police officer. You won't catch Maria saying that. But you will catch the subject saying not to date guys or marry men in those professions. <laughs> I mean, you can't make it up. You can't make it up. I mean, at this point, you can't be heartbroken about it. You can't feel bad about it. You can only laugh and point and say, look at that right there. I mean, it is beyond belief, man. It is completely hilarious, man. And people are still trying in the West to get you to date and marry. I was seeing some videos the other day because of what Tyler Perry said about um, a lady dealing with a man or how the subject should deal with the man that could only pay the light bill and all the outlash. And so I saw a bunch of videos of, of some of your favorites, uh, like your Umar saying, get married, get married, get married, and all this other stuff. But it's clear that the subject doesn't want to have anything to do with an honorable relationship to an honorable person in an honorable profession to live an honorable life, to produce honorable children. No interest in that. So the subject wants to continue to be SMs, having thuggos offspring and continue in that long line of dysfunction, even when they're educated, even when they have the nursing degrees, even when they work jobs like that, when they, you think they would know better. But the way life is today, the subject says no to anything good and yes to everything that's dysfunctional. But it's not about that. What it's about is you realizing the situation, 
what the subject desires and how you're not a part of that desire and you're taking your basketball and going to another court and play, which is traveling, grabbing your passports, doing something different. I'm most high willing, as long as I have breath in my body, I'm going to always show you example after example of after example on why dating is finished in the West. Why the subject has nothing for you. Remember what JC said, he said, the prince of this world is coming and he has nothing in me. Well, the subject is in this world and they see nothing in you and you have nothing in it. Of course, we have to part ways. And these are just examples after examples of why you make the right decision to grab a passport instead of trying to aimlessly date or take the subject seriously in the West. You know what to do. This is The Real Peel. This is Black Round 313. Like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you're there on the live streams. Black Round 313 from Bangkok, Thailand. I'm out.